Alright, y'all know what time it is, man. We're getting into the tutorial for Backyard Baseball 1997. You can do the uh, 2001, 2003 version, but, you know, I like the 1997 version. You know, I'm a 90s kid, man. Like, we be getting nostalgic about this kind of shit, man. So, I know y'all y'all been asking for the tutorial, man. So, we're going to get you uh, reliving your childhood real quick. Simple, easy. Let's get into it, man. Alright, so what we're going to need, we need the game files here. And we're going to need two programs. So, first program you're going to need, WinRAR. If uh, y'all ever done some uh, installations and stuff with 7-zip files before, I'm sure you're quite familiar with WinRAR. Basically just, you know, as a tool to open your files with the 7-zip extension. Um, next uh, program we're going to be needing, ScumVM right here. Uh, if you go to their main page, just go to Downloads and it'll bring you right here. And uh, ScumVM is basically just kind of like a emulator program, I guess. Uh, you can kind of liken it to that. It just helps um, play the files, um, you know, for these old games and stuff. Uh, so you don't have to deal with virtual disk drives and stuff. So great tool. Helps out a lot. Helps you, you know, realistically launch and play the game. So um, after you downloaded those two, got them all installed, everything's all good. I'm going to pull up to oldgamesdownload.com. It's a great site too, man. I mean, they got, you know, all these kinds of games on here. They got Backyard Football on here as well. Um, you can find all these kind of games, you know, on here. And the good thing is uh, some of them do have, you know, instructions on here. And uh, like I said, you know, we're working on modern, um, you know, PCs, working on Windows 11. I'm trying to play this, you know, today in 2023, you know what I'm saying? So... Um, this should, you know, all work with all kind of new systems and, you know, they tell you here to go to ScumVM and, uh, the one thing that, you know, they don't really tell you is the difference between these two. You got, you know, the files right here, the 7-zip, like I was mentioning, and, uh, the ISO. Um, you don't have to worry about the ISO. Just download this top one right here. The ISO is for the virtual disk drive, which... Like I said, you know, more complicated. Um, you want to be able to play it, you know, without it right here. Um, and that's what we're using Scum for. So go ahead and download this joint. And once you have that all set up, uh, you know, you're going to have it set up like this. If you download a WinRAR and installed it successfully, you should get this icon coming up. You know, it'll say type WinRAR archive. And uh, you just, you know, click on that. And, uh, you know, sometimes, like, this thing will come up, you know, please purchase the license, things like that. Or it'll tell you, like, you got to do a free trial or whatever. You know, if you got to do the free trial, like, whatever. Um, but you, you don't need to purchase a license, man. Like, you can just hit close. It's really that simple, guys. Like, I ain't even going to lie to you. Like, I've, I've never had to pay for it or anything like that. It's just, like, um, you know, I, I don't know why they do that. But... Anyways, man, you go to extract to right here. You can do it this way. Um, you know, you just put it on your desktop if you want, or you know, I like to put it in my downloads. Um, but also the easier way, I mean, you can just drag and drop it. You know, right in your you know file explorer just like that, and uh, you'll have the files there. And I would recommend, you know, I made a folder up here as you guys can see, called old games. Um, I'd recommend just making a folder. You know, whether it's on your desktop and your downloads, wherever you want to put it just so you can stay organized and uh this will help you later because you got to be able to locate these files man so um once you made that you got all the files extracted you know i'm gonna pull up in my backyard sports file right here as you can see we got the files right here the same as you know on WinRAR. and uh yeah so we're just gonna open that up um go to game files make sure we got you know the scum vm files in there okay we're all good um and you know we're just going to come down here pull up scum vm uh if you were installing it it probably pulled it up for you you might have to go through you know the installation process or whatever but it should bring you to the screen um and it's really quite simple man i mean you just you know you gotta start add game game options remove game if you want to take one off as you can see i got two of them here because i got one that's kind of like a test you know copy so i can show you guys but you just go to add game 
up here and uh you know make sure like i said man make sure you make a folder because you need to be able to locate these files you know so wherever you put them on if you put them on your desktop your downloads make sure you're able to locate your backyard sports files um so we're gonna pull up in the folder right here go to game files now this is important we want to click on scum vm and hit choose if you go into the folder, it'll say no items match your search and it might not, you know, correctly put it in. So just make sure, you know, you click on BB scum VM, hit choose, and it'll bring you to this. Um, you can honestly just hit okay if you want, but, uh, you know, something useful, if you want to remap any of the buttons, if you want to change the controls, you know, I do that with games sometimes. Um, you know, you can change the controls in there. You got your audio settings, you know, the subtitle speed, the volume, all that. Um, don't really got to worry about anything else, but, you know, just some, some useful tools for y'all, just so y'all know. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, you just hit OK. I'm going to hit Cancel because I already have installed. And uh, let's watch the magic begin, man. And uh, definitely stick around because I got some useful um, tips and tools while you're playing at that Scum VM kind of gives you so um stick around for those real quick man <laughs> So as you guys could see when I was getting through everything, I was able to kind of skip those titles, um, the little title screens and the movies that play. You can also rewatch the movies by um, But how you skip it is you just hit escape. You know, that's all you need to do. Just hit escape and it'll click right through. Um, that's a really useful tool. Uh, if you want to pause the game, um, obviously I'm kind of on the title screen so it doesn't totally make sense, but you just hit space. And, you know, it'll say game pause, press space to continue. So if you have to go to the bathroom or whatever, you know, if you don't want to pause the, you know, game in game and deal with all the titles and stuff, you can just hit that. Um, and, yeah, basically the the final thing, this is really important, too, for um, y'all. And this, this works in almost any program, guys. I'm not even going to lie to you. I mean, this works, you know, on websites. This works on, you know, applications. Like, it's a really useful uh, keyboard shortcut. Uh, it's going to go to black screen, but um, for you guys, when you do it, I'll kind of explain. So if you hit Alt-Enter, it will go into full screen, man. And that will just kind of get rid of these borders and stuff here. And, uh, you know, just kind of maximizes it, um, gets rid of your, you know, taskbar down here so that you just feel, you know, fully immersed in the game like you would, you know, in any kind of modern game that you play. Um, and th this is a little Easter egg, man. So if you actually beat the game, like if you get the, the Ultra Grand Championship right here, if you play through the career mode and all that, um, it tells you you can hold shift and you click on Mr. Clanky down here and he'll make that little noise. And what that means is if you go to the pickup window, you know, let's pull up, let's, let's create a team real quick. Um, we'll just wait for this. So, as you guys can see, we got Mr. Clanky on the roster. You know, and his stats are pretty good. He's got good batting. He's got good pitching. His fielding's decent, you know. Um, and, you know, he won't show up otherwise, basically, you know, if you don't do that. Um, and you have to do it every time you go to, you know, play a game. You just click that real quick. So, I'm just going to go back to the menu real quick. Um... And uh, another useful thing, guys, you know, when you're playing, uh, I know you know, y'all know about the GOAT, Pablo Sanchez, man, right here. I mean, this man, if you're going to pick anyone to be on your team, this should be your first pick. I mean, he's not called the secret weapon for nothing, man. This this guy just hits bombs, you know, 540 out of the park, like just crazy. So make sure you get him on your team, man. He's he's the GOAT. He's, you know, nostalgia personified, basically. This Vamos guy. a jugar! You know what I'm saying? Like, and he, sees, he speaks Spanish, so, you know, that's pretty dope. But, um, yeah, so as far as, you know, other tips and stuff, um, you got, you know, of course, your your pickup games, your window. If you want to go to the career mode, make sure you click on the clipboard right here, and you can just, like, make a team if you click on the pencil. They kind of don't tell you this, like, but, you know, they do say, are you signed in? But just make sure you click on the pencil, and it'll have you create a team, stuff like that, as you can see.
Um, and that's pretty much it, man. I'm going to go ahead and exit the game. And, you know, how you do that, you can click down here. And it will just come up. Are you sure you want to quit? Just hit Y, you know? Yes, on your keyboard, right? It's, it's that simple, man. It's, it's pretty easy. So, you know, hope you all appreciated those little tips, little Easter egg secrets and stuff at the end of the game. Um, for all these games, you know, there's screenshots and stuff if you want to see how it looks before you install it. Um, just so you kind of get a feel. You'd be like, okay, this is the game I was thinking of. You know, I know some of these games were made, like, 20 some years ago so y'all y'all probably forgot a little bit but um yeah that's it man i mean if y'all want me to make any more you know tutorials uh i have made um you know or i have installed i should say you know some of these old lego pc games lego online games um and you know they were all just you know part of my childhood and, and i wanted to play them again um, and they're really fun and stuff. So I can make more tutorials if y'all want, man. If you got a game in mind, um, definitely check out old games. You know, just like you can search for any game up there and uh, it should all come up. You know, like I said, they got kind of all the backyard sports games on here. But just make sure, you know, you're looking for um, the uh, Scum VM files. You know, like I said, the ISO is, is a little bit more complicated and it's a different install process. So that's what's up, man. But. Thank y'all for tuning in, man, and uh, if you run into any problems and shit, you know, let me know. Um, I know that sometimes there's some weird errors or issues that, you know, come along with these kinds of installations, so hopefully it was, uh, you know, stress-free for y'all, man, but have a good day, enjoy, you know, the game, and uh, hit some dingers for me, man. That's what's up.